from Newsnet and CCTV. It's high school basketball coming to you tonight from Cadillac High School. Welcome back to Cadillac High School for the Michigan High School Basketball Game of the Week here on Newsnet Sports and CCTV as the undefeated Mount Pleasant Oilers trail the Cadillac Vikings heading into the second period, 14 to 13. I'm Derek Tate alongside Dan Gussert. An active, competitive first period, both sides of the ball. We saw some good things, but the Vikings let the Oilers get off, kind of let them off the hook there at the end of the quarter with a turnover that led them to a 5-0 run. Yeah, Cadillac didn't end the quarter great, but they now know they can compete with this team. And, uh, you know, when you're looking at a team that is ranked 14 in the state, the entire state of Michigan, you don't know what you got until you really see them out on the floor. The Vikings got to figure out how to handle uh, Wojcicic. But other than that, they match up pretty well. Mason Wojcicic with eight points, really carrying Mount Pleasant offensively in the first period. Has that mid-range game going as we begin the second period as the Oilers are on the offensive end. Pass tipped by Levi Klotz, but handled by Ostrowski, who had three points in the first quarter. But it's been Wojcicic with his dribble penetration that's been an issue. Dangerous pass over to Peyton, who goes baseline. Here's Ostrowski going to the reverse layup. That one no good. And here come the Vikings. That's very good defense. That was a very difficult shot. A nice move. Just wasn't quite close enough to the basket. Tip Baker's floater does not go, but here's Levi Klotz for three. That one no good. David Johns gets the rebound, but that one swatted away by Huneman. Three on one opportunity. And there's a blocking foul on Huneman, and that'll send Logan Wild to the line. How about the offensive rebounding right there by the Vikings as they just dominated that possession. Four offensive rebounds, no baskets, but two free throws, and a foul on Hooneman, his first. Logan Wild on the season. That's his third point of the game. Shooting from the line this season, 51%, but averaging now, he didn't look like a 51% shooter on that one. His form looks solid. His rotation on the ball was great. Averaging another one of those shooters that uh, struggled a little bit early on in the year. He goes one of two from the line, does Logan Wild. Vikings up 15 to 13 here to start the second period. And there's a nice feed, big man to big man, but Shell cannot convert. And Genema snares the rebound. Cole Genema with a fantastic first quarter. Six points, two blocks. That shot off yeah. the mark and Wojcicic. Yeah, a little forced on that one right there. Wojcicic, no hesitation whatsoever. He's in double digits with 10. He even got bumped on that one just a little bit as he faded left. Probably a great no call as that's how the game's been called. Solidly, there's a little bit of bumping. As the Vikings now tied up at one point, they did have a six point lead. As Tip Baker turns it over, here comes Wojcicic. Two on one opportunity, and he goes to the finger roll. 12 points to match his jersey number, and Coach B Benzenberg wants to talk it over. That's probably a solid timeout right there is the back-to-back -back turnovers by the Vikings. Uh, we've seen a few of those here in the first half, and it's kind of led to probably uh, four baskets, would you say, Derek? Points, turn off, defense turns into offense. They've ran the fast break very effectively. And you kind of expect that with the town at backcourt that Mount Pleasant has. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I got to tell you, watching Mason Wuchesik play is a lot of fun. That kid is just downright solid. You he can attacks. see why uh, he's looking maybe to go D1 next year, take his game to the next level. Want to go ahead and take the time to Thank our sponsors over at Pizza Plus, Cadillac Tires, and Fox Motors of Cadillac. And of course, our fantastic crew, Director Hannah Crouch. On the cameras tonight, Jeremiah Tuck, Damian Brooks, and Caden Darrow. Well done, everybody. As we resume action, Vikings trail by two. Oilers come out in a little bit of a zone here. 
Good ball movement. Vikings reset. And here's Klotz, a catch and shoot three. Bullseye as Levi Klotz knocks down his first from distance. And uh, hooning in on him, that's a tough match for um, Tyler to get out and guard Klotz with that. Ostrowski no good, but the big fella, Huneman, a mismatch down low with the putback. And now the Oilers retake the lead, 19-18. Klotz, corner three. He's starting to heat up. Back-to-back -back triples from Levi Klotz. How about the look-away pass on that one from Baker as he looked to the center of the floor. Knew where he wanted to go with that the whole time. And they go to the big fella who can't convert on the baseline spin move on the post. Evan Bohr gets the rebound. Vikings lead 21-19. This one's lived up to the hype. Both teams going back and forth here early on. Genema picks up his dribble, being harassed by Dan Shell. There's a treble all, travel on Evan Bohr. A trouble. A trouble. <laughs> Give me a shovel. Uh. That's right. <laughs> Both teams, though, going exchanging haymakers, as I would Absolutely. call it. Absolutely. In a clean game, just four fouls, three against Mount Pleasant, one on the home team, and great basketball skill-wise out there, especially with the guy at the ball right now. Mason Wojcik cut off by Evan Bohr. He's been the tough defensive assignment tonight. Game high, 12 points. Ostrowski cut off by Tip Baker. And there's a mismatch down low. Huneman traveled. Good job fronting the post by Logan Wild. You know, uh, I like how the Vikings are playing that against Hoonanen. They do not have their big man on him. He's on the weak side on a lot of that. And uh, as Hoonanen posts so well and catches that lob pass, He's got to be looking for Genema. Might have caused that travel. Vikings force another turnover. They lead 21-19. And there's a steal by Ostrowski. Spin move inside and a beautiful feed to Mason Wojcik. Well, this is a tale of the Vikings three-point shooting, but also their turnovers giving Mount Pleasant some easy looks. We have a tie ball game here at Cadillac High School. 21-21, halfway past the second quarter. Vikings have seen Levi Klotz begin to heat up from downtown. And that one, a careless turnover by Genema. And here comes Ostrowski and a beautiful right to left handed scoop. Just his second basket of the game. All the scoring for Mount Pleasant from two players. They're two stellar guards. 23-21, Oilers retake the lead as they have ratcheted up the defensive pressure. And there's a push on Huneman. That's his second. That's a pretty tough call. I don't know. That could have been he's just running on the baseline. But it's called, and that's the way you got to look at it and play on. And it looks like they're going to reinsert. The senior guard, Jack Payton, who checks back in. They're going to try to play it safe with the big fella. you got to be pretty smart to go to Harvard to play football, correct? Absolutely. <laughs> Way smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> Vikings trail by two, just under the three-minute mark. Baker to Klotz. Klotz up fake. Now here's a pull-up jumper. Got it. Levi Klotz with eight points, and we're tied again at 23-all. You have to respect the distance from Levi Klotz. And there's a turnover, and here comes Tip Baker. He's going to go right out Ostrowski, and he lays it up and in. Beautiful move by Tip Baker. Vikings switched up that possession to that odd front zone of theirs and got a quick turnover and an easy basket. And they're back in it here. Here's a heat check from Wojcik. Three-point distance, and that one goes out of bounds. Peyton couldn't get to it in time. You know what, I'd take that shot anytime on defense, you give up that shot. That is not an easy look. Not a lot of offensive flow on that possession at all from Mount Pleasant. Even if uh, from someone who's as red hot as Absolutely. Vikings up 25 to 23.
We've seen a lot of defensive pressure starting to trap. And here's Logan Wild who tries his hand at from three-point distance. Johns gets the offensive board, but is off the mark. And here come the Oilers. Ostrowski, oh, beautiful hesitation move. And there's a travel on Wojasek. Great crowd on hand here tonight. Uh, probably as full as we've seen the gym this year. Derek, awesome to see this community come out in a great student section here for the Vikings also tonight. The Cadillac student section is full tonight, as well as the parent section and everybody else in attendance. Vikings trying to hand the Oilers their first loss of the season. Mount Pleasant trying to go wire to wire in the regular season and stay unblemished. A lot of perimeter pressure from Mount Pleasant. You know, that's going to open things up for Baker, but uh, the young man guarding him has got some pretty quick feet. He can handle tip, I think, a little bit. Genema from downtown. No good. Good box out from Ostrowski, and he runs the fast break. Looks to be a little bit of a zone look on the defensive end from the Vikings. Ostrowski. Over to Peyton, here's a corner three. That one no good. Shell gets the offensive board. Can't get it to go and Baker snares the rebound. The Vikings have this team very well scouted out as they are not leaving Ostrowski open in that corner. They're leaving that shot down there for Peyton. Uh, you know, that defender's got two to guard and he is not leaving Ostrowski. That's smart basketball. 10 seconds left in the half. Here comes Baker, finds an open man. Into the lane goes wild, cannot get it. Peyton, two seconds. Here's a heave from behind the half court line. And that one is off the mark. And boy, did we have a great first half here at Cadillac High School as the Mount Pleasant Oilers are undefeated but trail the Cadillac Vikings 25 to 23 heading into the halftime break. Stay with us, we have our halftime show and more second half action here on 26 Sports. Excuse me, Newsnet Sports and CCTV.